Well, visiting the dentist is an experience that many of us don't look forward to, but one Jonesboro doctor says it could be the first line of defense in preventing medical emergencies. Northeast Arkansas' Simone Jameson has more on how dent dentists diagnose chronic medical conditions and how you should not miss your next appointment. For many people, it's typical to see the dentist twice a year for routine cleanings. But those simple visits can mean that dentists will be the first to spot potentially life-threatening medical conditions, including diabetes and even cancer. Dr. Katie Wagner of Taylor Wagner Family Dentistry in Jonesboro has performed standard dental procedures for over a decade. She can pinpoint diabetes and oral cancer using her sight and smell. Diabetes may be associated with more of a fruity breath. Um, that's, that's kind of something that would tip you off. Not, not certainly means that everyone who has fruity breath has diabetes, but it, it can be an indicator. Oral cancer can be detected um, just by visually looking and kind of knowing what you're looking at. Um, of course, it has to be tested and biopsied. Every check-in starts the same. They can also reveal vitamin B deficiencies and Crohn's disease. We're going to take x-rays of all of your teeth. Those are, that's going to detect um, bone loss. It can detect cavities, it can detect fractures and infection. We want to be as preventive as possible. Despite the medical revelations dental screenings provide, a lack of education and stigma around visits continue to be hurdles for the practice. I know that we're not really people's favorite place to come, but unfortunately people often associate coming to the dentist when um, they have pain. Just it's, it's not a necessity. And really to be screened twice a year is so significant. So the next time you're due for your dentist visit, Dr. Wagner encourages you not to skip it, saying that seeing your teeth every six months could hold the key to saving your life. For Northeast Arkansas, I'm Simone Jameson.